no idea what I'm doing. Hey there! So today I'm here with a little bit different video than usual and I'm super excited because I got my first overlocker. Ugh. It's here. It just came today and I'm so happy I wanted an overlocker for quite some time already. Like I've been thinking about it for a couple of weeks. But I felt like it's a little bit of overkill for me, for someone who only sews like under one year and not very often. So my abilities are not the best, so I don't really need it, but I really wanted it. So I decided to get it. And so I want to do a little unboxing and hopefully a first try. I hope I will manage to get it working today. Um, so I will just start unwrapping it, I think. I also got some thread because you need a lot more thread than for a regular machine because it's, it uses up to four threads. Yeah, so this is it. This is the box. Uh, as you can see, it's Elna 264. And here are possibly my threads. I will just open it and check. Yeah, this is it. So as you can see, I got four spools of black and of white. Um, these are the colors that I use the most. I don't think I'm gonna need other colors soon. So yeah, I got this. So let me just put it aside and let's unbox this baby. So on the top of that I can see the manual and warranty cards and stuff like this and also yeah, this instruction book. I will keep it here because I'm definitely gonna need it. And here is the pedal and some like basic tools like a screwdriver, needles and some other stuff that I don't know what it is. And here is the machine! Oh it's so pretty, just look at it. It's already threaded with white thread. The, um, I knew that this is the case that it's gonna be threaded but I didn't know it's gonna be like legit spools so that's cool so what I've heard the best way to go about changing threads is to cut the threads that are already there and to make knots with a new thread and to just pull it through so you don't have to go through all the steps because it's pretty complicated it's Definitely more complicated than threading the regular sewing machine um, and it's like four threads, so quite a lot. So I'll just take a quick look in a manual to see what I need to do to get it working. Okay, so I got a piece of fabric and I'm just gonna try and use it. So I need to plug it in first. Okay. So let's just turn it on. And what the instructions say is insert the fabric under the toe of the foot. It is not necessary to raise the foot. It is raised, but maybe I will just lower it. Oh, by the way, the position of the switch for lifting the foot is so weird and so inconvenient, but whatever. I knew about it, so I can't really be mad. And then turn the hand wheel gently toward you a couple of turns and check if the thread chain. Then start sewing slowly. So yeah, I guess I can see the chain. So I will just try. And now to finish it, apparently I should just pull it to the side.
Oh, it looks great! So the cutter definitely works. It got some material off and the stitch looks like this. Oh, it looks so good! Okay, so um, I had a plan to, f to sew a dress today. I had it already cut. So later I will try changing the thread for black and I will try to examine the manual more and to sew my dress and I wanted to show you this. So I will see you in the evening in my time, in my time and in a second in your time. So see you later. Alright, so in the meantime, I refreshed my overlock knowledge a little bit and what I know now is that for threads you usually use for like a knitted fabric where when you want to overlock and sew it together at the same time but what I want to sew today is a dress from a woven fabric and so I don't really need four threads, I just need three and so I have to remove one needle because we have two needles here and I don't need one of them. First I will just cut this thread here. And now I will use a screwdriver and I will just unscrew it. Okay. And I will tighten the screw back so I don't lose it. And now I will just test how it looks now and if it works still. It still leaves too much loop like over the edge. So what I understand is I have to change the knife position. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know what direction I should turn the dial, so I just did it one way and I will see what it did. Now it looks good. move to the second point and I will try changing the thread. So I will cut it here and I have my black thread already prepared so I will just Okay, now what? I will lift the foot and now I will try and pull it. I failed. <clears throat> Alright, so it didn't work. I have no idea why. If you have any idea, then you can comment down below. So I will have to thread it actually, so... One eternity later. No way, it will just work like that, right? But let's see.
Oh, I can't believe I managed to thread it in my first attempt. So now I will take some scraps from the actual fabric that I will use for my dress. Oh, it looks so good. Oh my god. This is so satisfying. Um, I can't. I still need a bit of practice because sometimes I don't control it like I should. I'm afraid of saying something like it's too good to be so easy, but it's really. I don't know, my face, first experience is really good. And now like the best part, which is I set the sleeve on and according to the instruction, I'm supposed to first trim the seam allowance here and then overcast it. But when you have an overlocker, um, it can actually um, trim the seam for you. So there's one less step and honestly, it's just, oh, it looks like a dream. So I'm gonna do this now, I'm so excited. Oh, it's so satisfying. I mean, look how pretty it looks. I cannot get any better. Sorry for the construction sounds. All right, this is it. I hope you liked it. I'm so happy that I made this purchase. I've never sewn anything so good, if you know what I mean. Just the finish is mm, chef's kiss. By the way, this overlock is about $350, I think. So it is an expensive gadget. But for me, it's totally worth it. I love it so much. I'm really surprised that it wasn't too difficult to set it up and to start sewing and to even um, thread it for the first time. So yeah, I'm very pleasantly surprised. And I would definitely um, recommend getting one if you're really into sewing and of course if you can afford it. From now on, I will probably use it a lot in my sewing videos. Um, let me know if you have any questions for me, a beginner, using a overlocker for the first time. And if you liked it, then make sure to click the thumbs up. And for more sewing and also cross stitch related content, consider subscribing. And I think that's it for today, so see you in the next one. Bye!